Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Colin here with more rock and roll. Today we're going to look at rhythm guitar in the context of rockabilly and rock and roll tunes. I've been getting a lot of questions about this, people emailing me, and I thought it would be useful just to do a short series of videos just to fill in some gaps and maybe contextualise historically how the guitar, the rhythm guitar, was done at the time. Uh, I'm going to start with a little discussion about, there's an there's a interview with Charlie Feathers that was done in the 1980s where he talks about the development of the Sun Studios rhythm style on the early Elvis tunes, uh, particularly uh, Blue Moon of Kentucky. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description below, uh, but he goes through it all quite quickly and if you you know, if you're new to the guitar, it's going to be difficult to actually follow what he's doing. And he's also tuned, he's not in standard tuning, which doesn't help. So um, I'm going to do it in standard tuning, which will hopefully make it a bit easier. And I'm going to put a bit of tab up so you can see the rhythm patterns that he's talking about. And what it is, it's basically the amalgamation of uh, some blues style rhythm guitar from the deep south of America uh, with some country style done by Bill Monroe. And Blue Moon of Kentucky was one of the first songs that Elvis released on Sun Records. And it's the kind of amalgamation of those two styles that created the rock and roll uh, rhythm guitar work that we, we know so well. Okay, the first style that Charlie talks about in the video is chop blues, uh, which he refers to as, as a black music from the 1950s or 40s even, I suppose, which caught Elvis's ear and he incorporated it into his style at Sun Studios. It sounds like this. What's happening, we're strumming, but we're kind of keeping the pressure off on our left hand until we want to play a chord. So you're only playing sort of three chord stabs in the bar. And you're, you're just kind of muting all the rest of the, of the, uh, the strums. Now this must have been unusual at the time for country audiences because uh, apparently uh, Bill Monroe wasn't too happy when Elvis uh, covered his song because he introduced that style into the into the Bill Monroe accompaniment which was originally a, a waltz in 3-4 time and of course uh, Elvis and Scotty and Bill turned it into a conventional rock and roll beat which is four beats in the bar. <laughs> Okay, the next style that uh, Charlie talks about in his video is Bill Monroe's style, which he plays uh, as a kind of waltz bass drum like this. Blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one that's gone and left me blue. Blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one that's gone and left me blue. So what he's doing is playing a sort of bass drum, as I said. So he's hitting the, the root of the chord on as the bass. And then he plays down, down, up, strum. Bass, down, down, up. And then he plays the next bass note, which is the E open, which is the five of the chord, fifth interval above E. A, down, down, up, E, down, down, up, E, down, down, up, E. And you just take that pattern over all the chords. So you always start with the root of the chord, so over the D chord it would be the D open string. Then you go to the A. Then back to the E. For the E chord, E open, then the second fret on the B, A. 
Okay, Elvis goes to Sun Studios, he's been listening to Bill Monroe, obviously, and he's been listening to the blues, and when he does Blue Moon of Kentucky, it sounds a bit like this. Blue Moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one that's gone, left me blue. Blue Moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one that's gone and left me blue. So he's playing the bass strum like Bill Monroe. Down, down, up, bass. And then up, down, up. And you can hear that kind of bass, almost slap bass sound coming through in the guitar. Slightly muting the strings, so using your right hand just to uh, slightly dampen it. Now you can just slightly lift your left hand as well uh, to get that chop blues thing going on. But I don't think it does too much of that on the record to be fair. But that should help. If you uh, are looking for a rhythm style, and then... That kind of style is quite useful to get into. Okay folks, hope you enjoyed the lesson. That was a little historical exploration of Elvis's rhythm style at Sun Studios and where it came from, based on Charlie Feathers obviously doing the research before I got involved. Uh, just really interpreting his research in a way. Uh, but that's kind of how you learn stuff, isn't it? So. I'm going to do more rhythm stuff in the weeks ahead, uh, so look out for that. This will be part of a series. Uh, people have been asking for Glenn Glenn's rhythm style as well, so have a look at that. If you want to connect with me, um, join the Facebook community. I'll put a uh, link in the description. You can uh, check that out. And uh, I do. if you join my mailing list, uh, you'll find that you can connect with me on Zoom as well. And we do sort of Zoom on a Sunday night uh, where we can sort of catch up and just, just have a chat about guitar and rock and roll and uh, see what's going on and it's quite good fun uh, so yeah if you're interested in that just go and uh, join my mailing list the best way to do that is just to visit my website and there's a little uh, mailing list sign up box there which you can click on to or you can watch my 5 steps to rock and roll training and you'll be enrolled on the mailing list when you do that as well ok folks see you next week keep rocking